Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I messed up by saying a bunch of racist fucking shit that I shouldn't have said in a very disrespectful manner and assaulting a lot of people I probably didn't mean to. I'm an asshole. What can I say? You know what, man, you try studying the New York World Order for 18 fucking years and not developing a fucking speech impediment out of fucking intoxicating yourself all the time over a long period of time and being full of hate. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm like almost three years sober. Yeah, almost three years sober. That I still feel like a fucking, you know, it still affected me, the alcohol. And, of course, this coffee addiction I have does not help. Um, I'll tell you like this. I'm an idiot. Whatever angel I thought I saw must have been a dream. And I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know what races are races. I don't know, okay? I don't know who was where when we go past about fucking 10,000 BC, okay? There could have been a lot more, you know, well, I'm not going to speculate what there could have been. I'm just going to stick with the facts. The facts is that I care about people. I'm not a racist, and I'm not saying, oh, black people are the only victims. And that's one of the things that people always, they get angry about. They think, okay, that I'm a reverse racist. I gotta, I gotta address that point of view. Because I see that point of view gonna start to manifest itself. If I don't do something about it, I'm gonna look like a fucking racist asshole like the fucking David Duke or something. Like Albert fucking Pike. Look. I'm not the opposite, reverse version of Albert Pike, okay? I'm not a fucking racist. And I'm not a fucking Freemason. And I don't claim to be the fucking authority on fucking... Well, I'm not the authority on anything. I just have a divine connection with God. And a truer perception of things maybe relating to God. Because it also has to do with how it's presented to you. You know, something that I noticed, like, um, sometimes there'll be puzzles and stuff like that that other people figure out before I do. So there's also a level of how it's presented to you and how familiar you are with that person's thinking, how much you and the uh, test maker think alike, how much you and the person who made the puzzle, how much do you think alike. That goes into it, too. Because if I make a puzzle and I think a certain way and you don't think like I do, you're going to have a lot of trouble figuring it out. You know, I'll make an obvious example of Christianity versus um, Buddhism, right? If I give you a Christian puzzle, oh, find what a Isaac said in the third chapter of fucking Chronicles, blah, blah, blah. Okay, even though that's not where you find it, I'm just you know, throwing that out there. Anyway, the point is, uh, right now, I'm just, I'm crazy. Like, I'm, I'm an angry motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? There's no question about that. There's no question that I am not fit to be the spiritual leader, but nobody else is either. And I have to fill that void because I'm one of the most worthy people. Am I worthy to accept the fucking keys of Jesus? Nobody is. We have to fucking strive our whole lives just to come close enough to hope that he lets us in. You know, realize how hard it is to get in heaven. It isn't as easy as you think. A lot of people think, oh, you just have faith. You know how many criminal scumbags have faith? Like I would share the same proximity with those filth, those pedophile rapist scumbags. Now don't get me wrong, I've lusted for women who are younger than me when I was like, you know, say when I was like 20, I probably liked a girl who was probably like 17 or 18 or, you know. But will I be a fucking pedophile about it? If, if, it, if it went any further than that? Of course not. The fuck I look like? Well, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't, you know, obviously it doesn't matter what you look like. Look, you don't understand how stressful this is when you gotta tiptoe through the tulips with a bunch of fucking pedophiles and rapists and fucking terrorists. And, mm, boy, you don't. You don't. I find myself siding with the cops who gave me a hard time all my life. You know, they, they, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. Maybe I've lost my fucking mind. Maybe I've lost my mind in history, and I think that, hey, we got to suppress the scum, and I'm just losing. I don't fucking know. Okay? I do know this. 
and I'm hungry right now, and I have a lot of food that I bought, a lot of nice chicken that I made, and I'm not even going to eat it, because I'm going to start fasting. And, um, maybe I shouldn't say this, anyway. Oh, well, let's just say it anyway. I'm going to start fasting, and chances are, well, let's just say it's not going to be very healthy for me. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're not eating, and you have a mental disorder, and all this shit. They don't understand. I'm not eating for the hundreds, the, the, oh, the almost a thousand Nigerians that have been killed in Nigeria in the last couple of years. Okay, just, just like the Mexican drug war. Okay, you think you think I'll, I was already really tripping about the Mexican drug war before they start killing my people too? And you think you don't know? I'm losing my fucking. Okay, look, I'm not fucking crazy. I can keep it together. I can. You don't understand. I'm a good fucking guy. They're the fucking scum. I used to hang out with gang members. It doesn't mean I'm a gang member still as well. It doesn't mean I'm going to go hang out with a bunch of gang members. It doesn't mean I'm going to conspire with a bunch of gang members to usurp authority and to kill people. Look, look, look. I do God's work. Even the gang members understood that. Okay? Even when I got slapped, one of my first fights, I turned the other cheek. Okay? I have never lost a fair fight. Have I ever been slapped and sucker punched? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people laugh, oh, you deserved it, ha, 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 At least I'm keeping it real, you piece of shit. How re keep real do you keep it, huh? If me and you went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, motherfucker, who the fuck you think would win? The trophy-having motherfucker who's been practicing martial arts for 20 fucking years? Or some punk-ass little bitch who sits there poking holes with arguments while I'm trying to save the fucking world? You think it doesn't fucking suck to be me? You think I didn't pass up beautiful fucking women? I could have been a boot. Look, I could have been accepted. Now for the rest of my life, I'll be that 30-year-old motherfucker that had to move back fucking home. Yeah, it's a recession. Yeah, other people have to do it. But it's bad enough that I'm black and that people would say, oh, you're, they're quick to want to label me having a mental disorder so they can stigmatize me and throw me in a fucking dungeon. Look, I care about people. I got trained fucking martial arts to fight the fucking scum. And I got a fucking fast, okay? You try being me. Oh yeah, let's not forget I'm going to be pissed off every fucking day starting tomorrow. Because I'll be hungry as shit. And I'll have food under my fucking nose. The food that I've painstakingly made. Because you scumbags made a mess. And like a fucking janitor, I got to fucking clean it up. You know, I don't appreciate you scum making my life hard. I don't. I'm trying to save these motherfucking world. You, you gotta be cussing, looking like a fucking ghetto asshole and shit. You know, you have no idea. Oh man, there's some big motherfuckers that would probably love to kill me. Okay, I, you know, a lot of them. Okay, That's probably. What, there's no probably about it. Okay, you put me in the wrong cell in prison, I'm dead. Put me in the wrong country, I'm dead. Put me in northern Nigeria, I'm dead. Well, nine times out of ten. Because people don't like me. I am the world's most hated mixed black man. Even Obama makes fun of himself. He says he's a Hawaiian Rican or some fucking shit he made up. Fucking talking shit. You wonder why I broke down your racist fucking pride? It's because we have to give that up. You think I'm not fucking more pissed off than anyone else? You have no idea. You have no idea. Do you know how it feels to know that your tribe is one of the... I'm just going to say it. One of the tribes of Judah. One of the descendants of Judah. And the scum won't admit it. And they won't admit it because we're black. Hitler wanted to get rid of people like me. The, the black and Germans. I am no fucking good on your fucking planet. Okay? Nobody will ever fucking like me. They'll like other mixed black guys. Oh yeah, they should have. They'll vote for Obama. But my life is fucking over. It's always been over. I never had a fucking chance. You know how it is to go... You know how it is to go every day pretending that you don't know that your life is already fucking over? To have to put on a roll for the bootlickers? Yo. To have to tolerate the scum. Knowing... That I should dress up like a fucking ninja and go. Look, 
I'm your spiritual leader not because I'm fucking perfect. I'm your spiritual leader because you dumb gang banging assholes need me. I know it's fucking hard to fucking believe that anyone will need a fucking asshole like me. But believe me, you motherfuckers need me. Because I've been in the different environments. I understand you. I have already given my life for you. That's okay. You, am I going to give my life? I've already given my life for you. Because they're going to fucking take me out and blame some fucking gang banging asshole or some fucking drug cartel hitman or some terrorist when it was the scum who benefit the most from removing me. It's like they removed my uncle. Oh, the plausible deniability. Motherfucker. If I put my fucking nine in your fucking mouth and a 38 in your fucking temple and I shoot them both at the same fucking time. I'll say it was two shooters. I don't, I don't have no registered gun. It wasn't me. Doesn't mean I'm not. I wouldn't be guilty. Like you fucking scum. Don't get it twisted. They're fucking filth. There's no question about that. I didn't fucking make this shit up. I didn't make this shit up. Don't ever, ever in your life think I just go around making this shit up. I am Chukwa Emeka, and I'm sick of the scum. I'm going to fucking pick up my rifle and go forward if that's what God wills. I'll get my passport right and go forward. I will hijack a fucking plane if that's what it takes for me to get to my people if God wills it. Don't be like me. Do what Jesus said. When I say do what Mecca says, do what Mecca do, what Me Mecca do is he try to follow the Lord with all his heart. But the devils were fucking with him his whole life. Don't be like me. Because you'll end up a fucking, the world's most hated motherfucker. A dead man fucking walking. This, my friends, is death fucking row. And you don't see them, but they're there. I'm shackled head to toe. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. And I ain't, I ain't feeling sad about you bitches neither. The rage that I have to hold back and contain. That is all you are seeing. This is just the effects of me being upset at the scum. Turn to God. Don't do what Mecca do. Because Mecca is haunted by fucking demons. Because Mecca wake up every fucking day. Having nightmares that I can't even remember. You know why I can't remember them? Oh, I've gone way over. I'll, I'll tell you in the next video. But it's one fucking disturbing fucking reason.